Okay, so how do we prove a result like this? What we do is we start then by saying what this summation is. Let's just put it down. So we've got the sum of r going from n plus 1 to 2n of r plus 2 multiplied by r plus 3. Well, we think of doing the first 2n terms, okay? So we look at the sum of r going from 1 to 2n of r plus 2 multiplied by r plus 3. But then we have to subtract the terms that are left over, okay? The, the first n terms, okay? So we would need to go r going from 1, the sum of r going from 1 to n of r plus 2 r plus 3. Alright? So look at the first two n terms and then subtract the sum of the first n terms and that will give you the set of terms n plus 1 up to 2n. Now when it comes to this and this they've got basically the same pattern structure. Remember in the previous part we found out what the summation of this series was. Let's just put it down over here. It was minus one-third of n bracket n squared plus 9n plus 26. So that was the sum of that particular series. But can you see all we need to do now is wherever we see an n in this answer, we just need to replace it with 2n. So what we're going to have for this first part then is essentially one-third of, instead of n, it'll be now 2n. Then we've got n squared here, which now becomes 2n all squared plus 9n, so that becomes plus 9 times 2n, and then plus that 26. Okay, so that's what we should have. And then all we need to do is, say, take one third n out as a common factor. So if we do that, one third n, then what we're going to have here is that this 2 here has to go and multiply each of the terms in this bracket here. So we've got 4n squared multiplied by the 2, so that's going to be 8n squared. We've got 18n here, but multiply it by the 2, so that's 36n. And then 26 times the 2, well that's going to be 52. Now for this bracket we've got a third n out the front so it leaves us with minus of all of these terms, minus 1 times all those terms. So it's going to be minus n squared minus 9n minus 26. And so if we group these terms together we've got our one third n out the front here and we should find we get 8n squared minus n squared, well that's 7n squared group the n terms together, you've got 27n, and then you've got plus 26. 52 minus 26 is plus 26. And so, there you go, proves the result. Alright?